national anthem. Good evening again, ladies and gentlemen. The Honorable President of India, Sri Prana Mukherjee, I would not name each distinguished guest on the days by name to save time, but I have to recognize as a group all the mentors and the entrepreneurs of BYST and of course some of our friends from over 15 countries abroad. The very existence of BYST is to create these entrepreneurs with the help of these mentors. So these are the two groups of people who are the heart uh, of BYST and what it does. And other than the Honorable President of India, I think the rest of us are nowhere near as important as these entrepreneurs and, and the uh, mentors who mentor them. Very special day in the journey of BYST. To be in the Rashtrapati Bhavan the whole day, hosted by the President of India. And of course, the President having so kindly agreed to be the chief guest at this function, which happens to be the last one this today, but is the inaugural function, the main inaugural function of BYST's Silver Jubilee celebrations, which starts from today. The mentoring and the programs will go on in different parts, various parts of the country throughout the year and will end around March, April next year again in, in Delhi. Yeah. We've heard speeches the whole day and talks the whole day about the purpose of BYST. And if I may say again, it's a little repetition for all of you, but I must say it in the presence of the Honorable President of India, that amongst other things, amongst the need to reduce poverty, the main aim, one way to look at it, the way I look at it, for India, Indian government, Indian people, Indian corporates, is to provide jobs. There have been enough talk on that. That's the best way to reduce or eliminate poverty. There is no other way. Money does not drop from heaven. You cannot give those to people. You'll go bankrupt. You'll have tremendous fiscal deficits and inflation. You can't dig well and then fill it up. You have to give people productive employment and at a reasonable, I'm not getting into that, wage level. So that's a humongous task, as we know, 12 million a year, plus all those who will come in from agriculture. We've discussed that earlier today. BYSC can't solve that problem. Even India has not been able to solve that problem. We have talked of jobless growth. Last 70 years, jobless growth. So, as I said earlier today, the world is seeing jobless growth. Partly, I won't repeat it, partly Brexit happened because of people were not happy, the workmen were not happy, partly because of immigration. Similarly, Mr. Trump won because of those uneducated white Americans who couldn't get jobs or whose salary levels were down because of immigrants. So as I said, BYST can't solve that problem. But BYST in its own small way says we shall produce people who will not be job seekers, who will be job providers, who will be job givers. And that's why we say the first major job objective of BYST is to provide entrepreneurs from the age of, let's say, 18 to 32 or 34, male and female. We have produced over 5,000 entrepreneurs by now, and these people have produced a quarter of million, 250,000 jobs. Nothing in India, in million, nothing. But as I said earlier, BYST wants to be an exemplar as to what can be done Maybe a small way, maybe it's an incubation, maybe it's a different kind of research. Because how do you do that? They need various things, I have no time to go into that. There will be other people speaking, the people who are sitting on the desk. But the main thing BYST is doing, and that's our second major thing apart from these entrepreneurs, are these mentors. We have 4,500 of them 
with the CIA I'm closely associated with that, so maybe I'm biased in favor of CII, but it's fully supporting ever since the inception of BYST. Uh, BYST and uh, they have 8,000 members, and so there are these 4,500, maybe not all, but most of them are from CII companies who are member companies. And these people have to be trained, whether it's a finance guy or a marketing guy, but they these guys are by and large doing the work voluntarily. They must have the passion to do that, the real desire to do that, otherwise it doesn't work. So this is what BYST has been doing. And there's lots of activities which Rastrati Bhavar has taken in this connection. It includes the adoption of, it started with five villages of Omitaji, and I think it's now 50 and we are going to go to 100, I'm told. We are very ambitious. Uh, this is called the Smart Gram Initiative. It's made it, it's made it by uh, M.S. Sumita Paul. And BYST is honored to join hands with them and collaborate with Rajpati Bhavan to spread the spirit of entrepreneurship in these Smart gram, Grams. The first business idea contest for the youth in these villages was concluded in January this year, for which the award shall be given away by Rashtrapati Ji today. I won't go into the other things again about need for jobs. I would only say some people recognized in 1992, various reasons, I won't go into that, that we need more entrepreneurs. And through the route of providing them mentors, <laughs> and in 1992, under the chairmanship of the Doyle of Indian Industry, GRD Tata, BYST was formed. Uh, decided this is a worthy endeavor uh, to address the issue of creating employment through entrepreneurs with supported by mentors. The success of BYST has been there partly, of course, due to these mentors, but because the Indian private sector, and also public sector, but Indian industry has fully supported <coughs> BYST and its objectives by providing these 4,500 mentors, and of course CII and, uh, has fully been supporting uh, BYST. But this is not enough. If really the employment problem, which as I said earlier today, Technology disruption is creating further unemployment. But we have to keep on with technology. You can't stop it, even if you want, you can't, but you should not. Otherwise, you will go back to the old ages. But some jobs will be lost, the repetitive jobs, the lower level jobs will be lost. If you can have driverless cars and Internet of Things and artificial intelligence and robots sitting on your board of directors, you can imagine in another 10, 15 years what all can happen. So, <coughs> To do all this, BYST needs the help of national government and national government and all the state governments and union territories. And the conference today discussed all this the whole day, and I think Mr. Abhishek and Umitaji and of course Lakshmi will tell us briefly what was discussed the whole day. And uh, I can only hope, as the chairman of BYST, uh, in my small way, that all of you, because this is the last session today, found the whole day useful, interesting, and that you go home taking some useful ideas with you and hopefully, in your own limited way, help the process of creating new entrepreneurs with the help of mentors. Thank you very much. Shri Pranam Mukherjee, Shri Mati Omita Paul, Shri Ramesh Abhishek, Shri Rahul Bajaj, Shri Mashpati Singhania, Shri Gaurav Dhatmiya, distinguished dignitaries and guests. I would like to echo what Mr. Bajaj said earlier, that it indeed is a unique honor to be here today at Rashtrapati Bhavan to hold the first ever International Mentoring Summit in India on the occasion of Bharatiya Yuva Shakti Trust Silver Jubilee. Thank you ever so much, Rashtrapati Ji, for giving us this unique opportunity to partner with Rashtrapati Bhavan's laudable Smart Gram Initiative. 
which is just one among the plethora of initiatives taken during your incumbency. Under your visionary leadership, sir, and the guiding hands of Srimati Omita Paul, Rashtrapati Bhavan is now a model township and has launched a phenomenal range of schemes for artists to educators to grassroots innovators. Thus, it is a rare privilege for BYSD to have joined hands with you to unearth and garner the entrepreneurial energy of grassroots youth right here in Gurugam district in Haryana. As Mr. Bajaj said, this session is a climax of what has been an outstanding day of interaction between industry, private sector and NGOs, not only from around the country, but also from around the globe. Sir, if there was one learning that stood out among all else during our deliberations today, it is the importance of our providing an empowering ecosystem. Not just an ecosystem that works for high tech and big city entrepreneurs, but truly an ecosystem that works for the small micro entrepreneur in towns and villages. And this is what exactly BYST has been doing in its own modest way for the past 25 years, empowering disadvantaged young Indians in underserved communities with the twin sources of money and ventures. Some of you met Arun earlier today. He was a victim of drought and poverty in the village in Maharashtra, but today he runs a six crore business. And what is more, he has only got a vocational education, but he's now hiring IIT engineers because what he has come up with in his innovation is to conserve water, improve quality, and reduce the use of pesticides through his plastic mulching business. Tushar, whom you will be meeting again later in this session because he's going to be receiving an award, has built his infrastructure business from 7 lakhs to 70 crores, employing 900 people in less than four years. That is one of the fastest ever growing micro enterprise that we have in our system. Archana was dashing from pillar to post, bank to bank to get a loan, and today she is giving her male colleagues a run for their money by through her corporate catering business in the IT corridors of Tamil Nadu. Baskar has become a trendsetter in his tribal areas in Assam because he took his bell metal business, which he was just doing in his backyard, and is now taking it to Bhutan and Burma. When you ask all these entrepreneurs, and you've met many of the mentors earlier today, what is the single most important factor that they think contributed to their climb on the ladder of success, they will uniformly say it is mentoring. The power of mentoring can be felt even at the very beginning of an entrepreneur's journey. Ask the more than 1,000 participants in the recent business idea contest flagged out by Srimati Omita Paul in Gurugam district and who are now, more than 800 madam, are now being counseled by their mentors. And many of them have gone on to receive loans. Who is a mentor? All day we've been meeting mentors, we've been talking about mentors, but who really is a mentor? As Mr. Venkia Naiduji explained earlier, it really stems from our ancient Guru Shishya Parampara. And these mentors today give the entrepreneurs with basic know-how. In the urban areas in India, our mentors and entrepreneurs meet each other one-on-one. -on -one. But in the rural areas, what they do is the mentors literally jump into a van and go out to the village doorstep to support the young entrepreneur. Mentors provide holistic support in the form of training, counseling, and networking. And it is this all combination that produces the many millionaires that we are talking about today. BYST's mission was indeed inspired by His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, when I met him in 1990, and the Princess Tusk. But since then, it has been backed by visionaries, Mr. J.R.D. Tata, our founding chairman, Mantur Sondi, Mr. H.P. Nanda, Rahul Bajaj, Tarun Das, and Subodh Bhargav, to name a few. Together with other industry stalwarts on our board, BYST has grown many times over. And the interesting thing is, this model has been tested not just in the metropolis of Delhi or Hyderabad, Chennai or Pune, but in the tribal hills of Assam as well as in the mining towns of Odisha. In fact, 
This model has found home in 45 countries across six continents and since BYST was launched in 1992 through the Youth Business International Network. We are delighted to have many of our colleagues from those countries present with us throughout today. Ladies and gentlemen, the need of the hour is to share the BYST learnings about the benefits of mentoring young underserved entrepreneurs to every nook and corner of our country. To this end, we unveiled the Mentoring India. Some of you were present here for the unveiling of the logo by Sri uh, Venkaya Nandaji. And Mentoring India essentially aims to create a pool of mentors at every touch point when a young entrepreneur today comes in touch with the system. Why is this so critical? Because the last two years, the government has developed a multitude of schemes. We have Skill India, we have Digital India, Stand Up India, as well as Make in India. But we believe that the Mentoring India, which is a really a private sector NGO initiative, is the underlying foundation for all of these schemes to truly become effective. If we have to make all these schemes work together for the viability and success of the small entrepreneur, then we definitely need all of us in India to be focused on mentoring. Today, we took an important step towards building a bridge between the private initiative Mentoring India and the national schemes by signing MOUs with the Railway Ministry, and say Suresh Prabhu was here earlier to talk about that, as well as with the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. We will be conducting mentor training programs for these officials because we believe that training officials to think and act like a mentor, the skill set and the mindset of a mentor, is what really makes the effective person be able to support and guide the young person who comes to them. We indeed feel honored to be exchanging the MOUs in the August presence of the Honorable President. Many predict that the 21st century is one where India will be at the center for global trade and investment. The boom definitely can already be seen in Gurgaon and Gujarat, in Chhattisgarh and China, but we have to include the disadvantaged young in the rural hinterlands and integrate them into the economic mainstream. The idea itself is rather a simple one. We should reach out and mentor the dreams of every young Indian who wishes to become an entrepreneur. There is nothing that should stand in their way. We do hope that this first ever International Mentoring Summit is the beginning of a pan-India movement as well as a global movement. With all your blessings present here today, please help us. I am sure it will happen. Thank you. आदरणीय राष्ट्रपति श्री प्रणब मुखर्जी जी सम्मानित अतिथिगण और मेरे प्रिय मित्रों मेरा नाम गोविंद चौहान है और मैं स्मार्ट ग्राम दौला का रहने वाला हूं टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर माय ड्रीम ड्रीम मतलब सपना सपना एक ग्रामीण लड़के का जो गुरुग्राम में रहता है मैं उन चुनिंदा लड़कों में से एक हूं जिसको कॉलेज जाने का अवसर प्राप्त हुआ दैट डे आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग माय एजुकेशन कि मैं अपना स्वयं का बिजनेस करूंगा मैं किसी के यहां पे जूनियर बनके काम नहीं करूंगा <laughs> After that, आज उसके बाद मैं मैंने परेशान था कि करूं क्या करूं कैसे करूं कब करूं और कहां करूं मैं अपना स्वयं का बिजनेस करूं तो क्या करूं फिर आठ महीने पहले मेरे गांव को स्मार्ट राष्ट्रपति भवन द्वारा संचालित स्मार्ट ग्राम योजना के अंतर्गत लिया गया जिससे हमारे गांव को काफी सारी सुविधाएं उपलब्ध कराई गई और अस्सी दिन पहले बी वाई और राष्ट्रपति राष्ट्रपति भवन द्वारा संचालित स्मार्ट ग्राम के तहत एक बी बिजनेस आइडिया कॉन्टेस्ट की शुरुआत हुई आई वॉज सरप्राइज कि कोई हमारे बिजनेस आइडिया को लेकर इतना उत्सुक है मैंने अपना बिजनेस आइडिया जो कि रबर्स वेस्ट से स्लीपर्स और ऑटोमोबाइल पार्ट बनाने का है वो बी इसके बी आई सी के थ्रू शेयर किया आई वॉज अगेन सरप्राइज कि मेरे को कॉल आया बी वाई एस टी से उन्होंने मेरे को एक गुरु दिया गुरु दत्त के रूप में भगवान के रूप में गुरु दिया जिन्होंने मेरे को ट्रेनिंग दी एनकरेज किया मोटिवेट किया जिससे मैं अपना स्वयं का बिजनेस खोलने के लिए अग्रसर हूँ और अंत में मैं राष्ट्रपति भवन द्वारा संचालित स्मार्ट ग्राम योजना और बी वाई एस टी का धन्यवाद करना चाहूँगा जिसने मुझे ही नहीं मेरे जैसे अनेक युवाओं को आगे आने का अवसर दिया धन्यवाद जय हिंद जय भारत
started out as a BYSK mentor in 1999. And I loved it so much that I am still volunteering even today. In recent business idea contest in Gurgaon, I counseled more than 20 youngsters. The ideas came from everywhere. A young rural women were talking about boutiques and latest trends in fashion designing and not just traditional tailoring. Ideas for converting garbage to textile came from village engineering students rather than IIT graduates. By the end of six weeks, my 20 mentees have converted the ideas into workable business plans. Over the years, many mentees have become millionaires. I plan to work for them someday. Mahamahim Rashtrapati Ji, dignitaries, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. My department being responsible for implementation of Startup India and Make in India program, it has been a special privilege for me to be a part of the first International Mentorship Summit. Last year, I had the opportunity to take part in a BYST program and I could see firsthand the outstanding work that they are doing, promoting entrepreneurship, promoting mentorship, and the critical role of mentorship in ensuring success of entrepreneurs. We are aware of the enormous opportunities that exist for entrepreneurship in our country. Our young people are very keen to be entrepreneurs, but mentorship is required particularly in tier two cities, in rural areas. Now the question is, and that was the subject of the round table today, which we are aware we had a very energetic discussion as to how to ensure that all these young people in rural areas, tier two cities, especially in these places, are able to access good mentors. It was brought out by the participants that mentorship is not new to our people, even in these areas. People are always imparting mentorship. They are mentoring people, whether in running businesses, running restaurants, running shops. But now we have to develop mentorship as a campaign, as a structured program, in which mentors are given the basic skills, basic training. So we need a nationwide program of identifying mentors, giving training to them, and then connecting them to the young people, entrepreneurs, who would like to do something different than seeking jobs. So the need for an institutional mechanism whereby the existing mentorship efforts can be scaled up considerably was brought out. I mentioned that the Startup Hub that is part of the Startup India program, which will be launched soon, it will be a virtual hub. That also could be one of the institutional mechanism an online platform whereby we will request potential mentors to offer their services and we can have online courses, programs of training the mentors and then through that portal itself, which is more like a one-stop shop for everybody in the startup ecosystem, even for all entrepreneurs, we would be able to connect the aspiring entrepreneurs, startups with mentors just the way we, can, we are going to connect them to incubators, investors, angel investors, venture funds, and various modules. One very good suggestion that came in the round table was that there should also be some uh, recognition for effective mentors. Those who are doing a good job of mentorship, and this culture has to spread in our country. We can have national level awards, which could be instituted to recognize good mentors. There was also uh, a very good suggestion that elderly people who have so much to offer and who are already offering so much and there are many organizations like Helpage International and there are many other organizations of elderly people they can also be involved through appropriate imparting of skills or training on mentorship to help the young entrepreneurs so this could be another idea and in any mechanism we have to get some good feedback about mentors how they are doing but all that can be done but what we need is a Mentoring India program in which we scale up the opportunities. We provide opportunities for mentors to offer them their services, provide skilled mentorship to the mentees. And I think this is really critical for promoting entrepreneurship. The 
our findings, the recommendations of the round table will definitely take it very seriously in our department as well. And I'm sure there will be further discussions and deliberations to take it forward. Thank you. Honorable President, sir, dignitaries on the base, distinguished guests, mentors, and entrepreneurs. I'm delighted that Bharti Yuva Shakti Trust on the occasion of its Silver Jubilee has joined hands with Rashpati Bhavan for organizing this summit on mentoring grassroots entrepreneurs in smart grounds for inclusive growth. You all must be wondering what these smart grounds are, so let me dwell a little on these smart grounds. Smart Ground is an initiative of President Mukherjee aimed at transforming rural areas into sustainable spaces by developing infrastructure, building skills, imparting entrepreneurship training, creating jobs at the local level, and providing all the basic necessities in the vicinity of the villages itself. Transformation of Rashtrapati Bhavan into a smart township had taught us many lessons. We felt confident enough to attempt its replication in a few villages in collaboration with the government of Haryana. On 2nd July 2016, President Mukherjee launched the project to convert five villages selected by the Haryana government into smart grounds. The central theme for converting Rashtrapati Bhavan into a 4-H, heritage, humane, high-tech, and happy township was creating an ecosystem that spreads happiness and promotes the well-being of its residents. The same theme has been carried forward in our concept of smart grounds, where happiness and harmony are of paramount importance. Ladies and gentlemen, our focus is on creating a sustainable and inclusive development model that can be easily replicated. This model is based on the convergence of resources and effort by the central government, state government, district administration, Panjayati Raj institutions, public sector, private sector, and other philanthropic organizations, academic organizations, and enlightened citizens. We have been concentrating on providing, in the first phase, basic amenities like portable water, regular electricity supply, sanitation, solid waste management, clean fuel for cooking, and sustainable mobility, integrated health care at affordable prices, education and skill development through quality enhancement of education in schools, improvement in governance and service delivery through use of IT connectivity and digitization by setting up of common service centers in all the villages, creating livelihood opportunities by setting up what we call village economic zones. Ladies and gentlemen, in this process of transformation, a catalytic factor is mindset change among the youth. I am very happy that Bharti Yuva Shakti Trust has collaborated with Rashpati Bhavan to nurture and garner the energy of youth in these villages. We are keenly looking at the mentoring support from BYST. The learning from the intervention in these five villages could form the basis for large-scale adoption of the mentoring model in smart grounds across India. The launch of business idea contest in January this year was a, collaborate, was a collaborative effort of BIST and RB, which saw the participation of many young people from rural Haryana. I am told that over 1,000 entries were received, out of which a few hundred ideas came from the five smart Grounds. I noticed that both the business I noticed that both the business idea contest winners are from two of our smart grounds. Shri Pradeep Yadav from Tajnagar village 
has been trained and mentored by the National Institute of Food, Food Technology and Entrepreneurship Management. With their assistance, he has been able to procure a substantial loan to expand his business. Now he is in BYST's hands to be converted into a crorepati uh, in maybe next six months, maybe. Uh, the, the second award winner, Ms. Natasha Rakhav, has been trained in tailoring under the National Skill Development Corporation Sponsored Training Centers set up at Dhala by the Rashtrapati Bhavan. The awards of the contest being given today would prepare an entrepreneurial culture and help unearth the youth potential of our country. I take this opportunity to compliment the mentors whose role is pivotal in successful running of the youth entrepreneurship development programs of BYST. We need a huge army of these mentors. I am told that BYST through these mentors is supporting around 1,000 youth entrepreneurs annually resulting in the creation of 50,000 jobs. I urge BYST to carry forward its noble activities with the same level of enthusiasm and foresight. Thank you. Mr. Pradeep Yadav proposes to manufacture organic spices in a hygienic environment. Female award has been won by Miss Natasha Raka. And Natasha wants to manufacture sewing machines. The Silver Jubilee Award for Best Performance. The award for BYST Highest Turnover Entrepreneur goes to Tushar Munot from Pune. <laughs> Tushar comes from a poor farmer's family. Now he owns two companies that manufacture asphalt, concrete, and road construction. Mr. Sunil Malkani is the mentor of Tushar and consultant Sum Corporation. He's been associated with BYST. Our next award for BYST highest employment in the women's category, the award goes to Shanmuga Devi from Chennai. <laughs> Our Swasti Support Services under the mentorship of Sham Shekhar at providing facility management services. Secretary to the President, Sri Ramesh Abhishek, Secretary to Government of Industrial Policy and Promotion, Mrs. Roshni Venkateshan, Founding and Managing Trustee, BYST, Mr. Gaurav Darmia, Mr. Hariprasha Singhania, Dr. Murli Munhar Joshi, Mr. Shivraj Pati, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's indeed a privilege for me to be present and still this evening and to have the opportunity of welcoming all of you to Rashtra Dibhav. 
I am happy to be amid to be amidst the entrepreneurs, present and future, from the smart grounds of Burga, who have chosen to travel with us distance from a village to a smart ground. It warms my heart to see the idea of smart ground which originated from our experience of developing President's estate into a smart town seat. Take means with the successful implementation within a short span of eight months in five selected villages in Horiyara. I have always helped that India will grow when whole of India grows. With 68% of our population living in 600,000 villages, in the rural areas, smart development can take place only when the villages and villager, villagers become smart. Last year, in the month of May, the president of the state became a smart township. I was convinced that the initiative undertaken in the President's estate can, with some experimentation, be extended to our village. Central to my thought process was Mahatma Gandhi's wisdom of a self-reliant village. Our new Gandhian model is an effort to develop a policy paradigm based on convergence of resources of the government, both central and states, Panchayatiraj institutions, public and private sectors, non-governmental organizations, and enlightened citizens to make our villages economically viable, socially harmonious, and to the extent possible, self reliance Friends, for us, a, small, a smart village in the is essential 3H, human, high and happiness, which ensures an enhanced quality of life that contributes to the harmony happiness and well-being of our village dwellers. It must have the required basic physical and social infrastructure with a layer of smart information and communication embedded in the infrastructure to improve governance and delivery of services, livelihood and economic opportunities. I am grateful to the government of Oriana for the immediate acceptance and proactive support to our smart plan projects. Under this initiative, we are working in the fields of infrastructure development, health and wellness, education, agriculture, energy, skill development, and entrepreneurship. We have so far made substantial progress. The five villages today have 24 multiplied by 7 electricity, common service centers, training centers, medical clinics, and wellness centers. So far, more than 30 organizations have joined Smart Plan Consortium. These include governmental organizations, public and private philanthropic organizations, 
academic institutions and of course the villagers themselves. <coughs> Involvement of so many actors from various fields has led to the development of a model where the scheme of the central government, state governments, efforts of academic institutions, large institutions and private individuals have converged to bring a synergy in the development of rural areas. I thank all the organizations <coughs> and institutions participating with us for their support. <coughs> Encouraged by our early success, we have expanded the project from 5 to 50 villages in the region in the month of February this year. I am confident of expanding this project to 100 villages by the end of May 2017. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, of the various projects and programs currently underway in the small gram villages, skill training being imparted to the youth and women of the villages and development of their entrepreneurial potential has had the most if a useful impact. I must appreciate the work being done by NSPC, NIFTN in the field of skill development. I am told that close to 1200 persons have been trained in close to 15 trades out of which a large number have got placement some of the entrepreneurs trained and supported by NIFTM have started their own enterprises and many more are in the process of doing so. I wish all of them great success in their future endeavors. A potential entrepreneur from village <coughs> needs support from the skills training, mentoring and financing of the projects. I am happy that Bharatiya Juma Shakti Trust, chaired by Sri Rahul Bajaj, whose family has the tradition from many, many years ago since the days of Jamnalal Bajaj, has partnered the Smart Gram project and has agreed to provide mentoring support to the potential entrepreneurs. A mentor has to handhold the budding entrepreneur at almost each stage and give him the confidence to stand on his own. We must aim to develop at least five entrepreneurs from each village who will create job for others and this movement may be converged from the movement of a job seeker to a movement of job supplier. Migration of the village youth to the cities for jobs can be tackled by creating job opportunities in the villages through enterprises best on village resources, agriculture, and farm-based projects. Organization of business idea contest in the smart grounds in Gurgaon has a novel idea. I congratulate the winners and all the participants of the contest and wish them all the best for their journey to become successful entrepreneurs. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I always believe if India has to become a great economic power, 
it has to invest heavily in innovation and entrepreneurship. My experience tells me that every Indian mind is an innovative mind. It has the potential to come up with the solution to our problems. We need people to turn problems into opportunities and work at expanding the scale of operation. Today we have government programs like Startup India, Stand Up India, Autoral Innovation Mission to support the entrepreneurs in generation of ideas, its incubation and the financing of the startups. In the recent past, we have seen a large number of successful startups from India that have made name in the world. There are many more that have done well in various fields like agriculture, healthcare, education, skills. Even if some of them fail, they will show us the way to succeed. Distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, today, roughly 12 million youths enter into the labor market every year. Population of current India at the age of 35 years is about 65 percent. The Indian innovation strategy has to focus on generating ideas that promote inclusive growth and benefit those who are at the bottom of the socio-economic pyramid, imparting skill and providing gainful employment is essential for meeting the de demographic challenge and for harnessing the enthusiasm, energy and ambition of our youth to contribute to economic development. India has a huge domestic market and this provides an advantage for the enterprises that use local material and technology to produce low cost but good quality products for the market. Dear friends, on the occasion of the Silver Jubilee celebrations of BYST, I compliment its leadership for the initiatives and wish them success in all of their future endeavors. Today, our heroes from smart grounds of Haryana, other successful entrepreneurs from all over the country, industry mentors, and other champions of the entrepreneurial ecosystem have gathered here in a huge meeting of the minds. Let our interactions be brilliant and meaningful. Let us all take this mentoring movement for entrepreneurship development forward. Let us all contribute to it through consonants with the true spirit of service to this great nation. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Honorable President of India, Shri Pranam Mukherjee, gathered dignitaries on the dais, particularly some very august uh, members in the audience and other dignitaries like Shri Murli Mundamurji Joshi, Shri Shivraj Bhattarji, friends of BYSD, and most importantly, entrepreneurs and mentors. It is an honor and privilege for me to give the concluding remarks at this inaugural ceremony of the International Mentoring Summit on the occasion of BYST Silver Jubilee. Rashpati ji, we are deeply grateful to you for being with us and sharing today 
and encouraging us with your remarks and thoughts. Sir, you could not have chosen to invite all these people to Rashtrapati Bhavan on a better day, today being the day of Ram Navami. I would also like to acknowledge and express gratitude to all the people on the dais who have shared their experiences, thoughts and ideas today regarding this whole issue of entrepreneurship, mentorship, the need to create employment, particularly in the rural youth, and the development path that our country needs to take. I would especially like to thank the award winners and their mentors who have shown with determination and inspiration and some innovation, as our Honorable President mentioned, what can be achieved from virtually nothing. I must also say that I was very impressed with the initiative that the Rashtrapati Bhavan has taken on the smart ground concept and for BYSD to be a partner in this initiative, it is indeed something which is a very proud occasion for BYSD. You've heard the story of entrepreneurs, ladies and gentlemen. Today, throughout the day, as Sri Rahul Bajaj mentioned, there were sessions where various aspects of this issue were discussed. The challenges, the opportunities, and what needs to be done. But one thing is very clear, that in our quest for creating jobs in this country, which is almost a million a month, it cannot be done by one section of society alone. Whether it is government, whether it is the private sector, or anybody else. What is needed is a partnership, and a partnership to bring together all these competent and able forces to provide this. And therefore, in this context, I think the issue of entrepreneurship through the unique way of mentorship, which is very much in our Indian tradition of Guru and Shishya, is certainly going to be a very strong fundamental pillar in getting towards creating this employment. The success of BYST has also been pinned by the strong support they have received from Indian industry, and in particular from the CII. Yet, ladies and gentlemen, there is a need to do much more. Tomorrow, the international mentors will go on a field visit to meet the BYST entrepreneurs in rural areas. As Sri Bajaj said, the key to the mission of BYST is to convert job seekers into job creators. And in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to firmly place and acknowledge the efforts that have been put in by Ms. Lakshmi Venkateshan in driving this BYST movement under the able stewardship of Sri Rahul Bajaj, the chairman, and the other board of trustees. Thank you once again, and Jai Hind.